Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of the Nerd Gym Report. I'm your host, Pablo, and joining me, as always, is Mr. Brian Schultz. Brian, Blade and Spidey 4 to shoot this fall. Brian, I wasn't sure. Uh, I couldn't verify at the moment, at the time when I was hearing this regarding the possibilities of a Spider-Man 4 and Tobey Maguire joining or, or Tom Holland or this. I don't know what's going on, but... There seem to be conflicting reports of who's going to be the Spider-Man, but you're referring to Tom Holland's Spider-Man, correct? Correct. And Blade, Brian, I haven't... So I'm assuming they already have a script. Well, it's They're a, ready to go. A report, an unconfirmed the, report. Okay. Okay. Your thoughts, Brian, on these, up, um, these, um, these updates on these films that uh, were at one point we were thinking regarding Blade that I still don't think it's going to happen, <laughs> especially not with Mahershala Ali. I don't know if Mahershala Ali is going to... Let's see. And then with Tom Holland, we thought if the, the money got to be right, and we didn't know whether or not this is going to be a um, terrestrial storyline or multiverse storyline. Um, where are we with those so Blade, I would still say take it all with a grain of salt because let's not forget, we were days away from shooting in a prior iteration and then it all came apart. So let's not forget. Um, but there's a report going around that um, Michael Green, obviously co-creator of Blue-Eyed Samurai, who's now the writer uh, for this movie, has cracked the script and they're trying to get this up and running for fall. Uh, Jan de Mong is still the director. Budget is still under $100 million. It is R-rated. Um, no other details other than that in the report. But the, re the report suggests if they can get it up and running by the fall, they have an outside chance of making their November 2025 dead, um, release date. But it sounds more likely that it would slip. 2026 which as you recall Bob Iger did not refer to this movie on the most recent earnings call and I kind of speculated that's because the movie might be if it's happening might be getting pushed back again so it sounds like that may happen so this could be 2026 before we see this and that's if this report is true and if we get from April to the fall shooting date without any more hiccups so you know it is forward progress I'm not going to dispute that but it everything with this project has been shaky so i would say just be cautious about uh about what's happening here spidey i think is concerning um so the report is that that's going to be a fall 2024 shoot tom holland will be back um we're also reports that zendaya will be back now this is corroborated a little bit if you if anyone has followed that there are issues around euphoria season three and the timing of when that's going to be shot or released or if it's going to be made. And one of the issues that was reported in that is Zendaya's commitments to Spider-Man 4. She has a con she, there's an option there. She has to do it. So that would corroborate the idea that if Euphoria is getting delayed indefinitely, that in part maybe it's making room for a, for a Spider-Man shoot. We don't have an official director. However, the, there were two names tossed around, one of which I think we can rule out. So the one I think we can rule out is Drew Goddard, uh, who was behind the Daredevil show for Netflix. Why can we rule out Drew Goddard? Because he was officially announced as the writer and director of Matrix 5. I don't think you're going to be doing Spidey 4 and Matrix 5 at the same time. So he's probably, and we can have a whole other discussion about Matrix <laughs> 5, but he would seem to be off the board as far as a candidate to do this, which leaves Justin Lin, most notable for directing every Fast and Furious movie from three, four, five, and six, and then he came back to do nine, and he also directed Star Trek Beyond. Pablo, when I see the name Justin Lin, I don't have any problems with Justin Lin as a director. However, I think these days you hire Justin Lin because you intend to handle big franchise productions. Think about the scale and how many characters were in some of the Fast and Furious movies and Star Trek Beyond. I don't think you hire Justin Lin if you're going the Marvel preferred route of the friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. So to me, I think if it is Justin Lin, that's a clue that Sony 
is going to steamroll Marvel's argument and basically say, we're going to make this bigger and more and more multiversal and bring back Toby and bring back Andrew and try to one up No Way Home, which I think is a colossal mistake. But why would they do it? We know why they would do it. Look at their franchise. Look at their other films. Is it any shock that all of a sudden their report Spidey might get fast tracked and shot? They know the rest of the universe is dead. They need to have this movie. But I think it, right. if this is the case, it could be a bad one. What happens if Tom Holland's Spider-Man 4 is a disaster? What happens to Sony and that Marvel relationship? That That's a hard one to say because the relationship is kind of, it's part contractual, part informal anyway. You know, like Marvel has creative input. What does that really mean? You know, Sony still has final stay. They still own the rights to the character. You know, even if the movie is terrible, it's still going to, Put up some box office right and we're talking about a movie that made two billion last time this is my whole point sony may just look at it as we've had massive failures with morbius massive failure with madam webb maybe they're looking at a disaster in the and last the list dance goes on and, and, and they're looking at craven and and, yeah and maybe all that's come apart for them and so they're like you know what even if spider-man 4 makes a billion dollars or 900 million we'll take that right now we need that cash we'll take that right now so then the movie's a failure in the eyes of the fans, but it made them enough money that they can keep going. So that you probably get Spider-Man five and it's even worse. That's probably what happens. I don't, I just, you know, and maybe Marvel just washes their hands. That's fine. You just go run it into the ground, you know, not you know, without our input. Blade certainly always, um, I just want to see what this was going to, what this is going to look like, especially with Mahershala Ali. Cause I think he's, uh, a perfect cast for that character. The only issue that I have with not the, and it's not an, even an issue. The only concern that I have is people comparing his um, portrayal to Wesley Snipes because he did it first and he, nobody's ever done it since. Right. So, or before that. So what's going to be the comparisons made and uh, green who wrote uh, he wrote uh, Blue Eyed Samurai? Wrote and created. Yeah, he, it's him and his wife. Are the... And that, Brian, to me, is a spectacular show in terms of dialogue, action. So that excites me to see what that could look like, right? If, if, if he's looking at Blade the way most of us are, right? Uh, so, yeah, Blade is an, ex this, is, is an exciting um, um, update. But Spider-Man 4, man, anything that Sony touches, I worry. And, and, and it's like, I'm here to, as a witness. I got my popcorn ready to see what the hell happens. That's all I can say about the Spider-Man era. Because right now, man... I would never thought I'd see the day where I'd be saying that I'm looking forward to everything that a WB and DC is doing and nothing to what the MCU is doing, really. Yeah, and obviously Sony's its own its own disaster, especially with Tom Roth Tom Rothman in charge. But it, I just if this is true that we went from no Spidey news to all of a sudden we might be trying to rush this for a fall 2024 shoot, that has the feel of desperation to me. And if you look at the box office results on the board, you can see why. I cannot wait. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be just itching to hear what Tom Holland has to say on these interviews, because <laughs> we already know he tends to talk a lot. So it'll be interesting if he doesn't say much, Brian. People are gonna be studying his 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 gestures. His body language. Body yeah, language. Doctor. If he doesn't seem excited, we already know, Brian. We already know. It is going to be very interesting. This is this this I can't wait for because this know, is going to be right? newsworthy. Like, you'll know in the sense of, like I said, I think the director is a clue, but you'll certainly know. Like they won't be able to keep. You remember last time they were able to keep the casting, and Garfield is out there lying is lying through his teeth, right? Like they're not going to be able to do that again. So that the word will come, and the second the word comes out that any of those characters is re-signed to do the movie, you know what kind of movie it is. Like you instantly know. And my my fear for this movie goes way up the second that happens. Last thing, Brian, do you think Marshall Ali does this movie? I mean, he's made it this far. I, I thought he would have been gone by now. And like I said, I am still like, it's just certain productions, 
are so troubled you just until the camera's actually rolling and like the director says cut and that's a wrap like i just i'm skeptical like i just I, I'm, I'm you know it's not like you know, james gunn says superman legacy is going to be on time and said like everything there has gone pretty smoothly like okay that that production's happening right now it, it i have no reason to believe it won't it won't come off like this one we're still six months away a lot can happen in six months yeah, and I and I just feel like they don't have anyone else that really can replace Mahershala Ali with. There's really nobody asking for someone else to take on the role, the possible role of that character. I can give you some names, but we'll see. We'll see. Um, let us know in the comment section below what you guys think of the updates for Blade. Uh the, the 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 people behind this so far sound they sound promising, Brian. Because if you've seen Blue Eyed Samurai, then you're ex you're somewhat excited to see what he's able to do with Great Blade. Spider Man Four. Let us know what you think we're gonna get. Are we gonna get a uh, 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 a Spider Man Three curtain call? You know what I'm saying in terms of horribleness? Because <laughs> Sony is on a roll. When you talk about people on a roll, like they're giving you consistent garbage and people still come back. I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. Well, yeah, that's let that's money come. though, right? That's money. Yeah, but Power it's like, this, Brian, yeah. why would I, I, it's like, why would I, I'm not going to go see Venom 3 in the theaters. I'm not. I'm that's mad terrible. that I went to go see Venom 2. <laughs> Because that was time. a waste of time. Yeah, I did not have a good experience. So I don't want to waste my time with that. I'll see. We'll see what people think about it. Let's see. But this, you haven't started off on a great foot with Last Dance. Call it the Last Dance, yo. You come on, man. It's like really, yo. Nobody said nothing. That's what I. That's that's what's uh, crazy to me that nobody. Everybody did. Everybody cheer when everybody's when they heard Last Dance. Did everybody? Did somebody say, you know what? <laughs> this I want to hear. I want to see that. I want to see that because if I would have been there, I would have been the one like, while everybody's cheering, I would have been like, yo, this is crazy, yo, because there's no way The Last Dance is a title for this type of movie. But anyway, that's Sony. Let us know in the comment section below what you guys think, and we'll see you next time on the Nerd Report. The show goes on! Yeah!